I've been waiting. I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this one. Um, so I ain't gonna set it up. Just listen. That to it. when you're dating, you should not do bi- one-on-one Bible studies with the person that you're dating, and here's why: because you start to form a spiritual bond that God has really designed. When you when you read about couples who are spending time with the Lord in the Bible, it's always married couples. You know. Um, or there's a level of engagement where marriage is, is on the horizon. It's happening, you know? And so, and so there's a level of intimacy that Bibles, one-on-one Bible study brings that you're engaging, you're studying the Bible, you're applying in a way that starts to really knit you two together with really (laughs) great spiritual encounters, really great accountable encounters. But at the end of the day, you're not accountable to each other. At the end of the day, you don't know if you're going to marry this person, even though it may feel like you're going to marry this person. And so, like, I know for me as, uh, you know, a man of God that when I found Ashley, like, if you ask me as a Christian man, what hurt me more, what would have hurt me more? The fact that Ashley had been intimate with other men in the past. Now, none of these things are good, but you know, Mm -hmm. had been intimate with other men in the past or did a daily devotional with another man where they prayed together, but that was her boyfriend. And like, which one to me was more intimate and probably as a Christian man would have bothered me more. It would have been the fact that another man was spending time with my wife spiritually that um, is meant to be my job as a husband. (laughs) And so that... Okay. Miss me with that one. <laughs> That's crazy. So I just happened to bring that up with my wife after we did the call. And I was like, what you think about that? She was like, what? <laughs> my exact response to it. So uh, let's just say this didn't go over well on our weekly call. Mm-mm. But I, I don't want to kill him because, again, he, he may be right. He may be right. Maybe he's right. Um, don't say that. Would You know he's not. Would you... What would hurt you more to find out your wife was intimate sexually with another person before you were married or that they had daily Bible studies? He said multiple men. Whichever. That, what difference that doesn't make it? any sense. No. One, two. Okay. You in, you're in having a conversation. The point is. But he's talking about I, I would have been okay. Let's just do one and one. one. Doesn't matter. No, no, no. No, 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 I, no I'm, I'm forcing you. We can't One and one. I'm forcing you. Would you rather that only one boyfriend? One. One they had daily Bible studies with, or one they had, were intimate with. Bro, Which one would you choose? Have the daily Bible study all you want, because here's the thing: you're going to do that at church, right? But you're not fornicating at church with all the people listening in the room. So you're saying that's just weird. He 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 is saying that there's something intimate about one-on-one private Bible study. Here's what you didn't get to. He goes on to say he doesn't he wouldn't have Bible study with a male or a female by himself. Really weird. But here's my thing. The fact that he said multiples, we're going to stick with multiples. <laughs> I'd rather she had been intimate with multiple men. You're talking about all these spirits, all these soul ties, all these comparisons floating around in her head. And you thinking that her study in the Bible, the written scripture, the written word, words that you read, that but she he's reads. saying that that's creating like a tie to no, that No, it's person. not. No, it's not. It's, it's intimate. It's spiritual. Prayer. It's different. Okay, prayer. You pray when you do. But like I said, okay, me and my okay. wife, when we pray, we hold hands and we confess things. We we talk about things. We say things that's, that maybe included, you don't want a boyfriend. That's included in his private this spiritual time. Sense to me. No, so, he didn't say prayer. Would that change it for you? It, Bible says that's obviously no, included. And nothing, nothing changes that. The physical act. Nothing changes that. Nothing changes what? Nothing changes how I feel about you that being, being worse. more. Yeah, it's worse. Yeah. Come on. How is that not? How is it not? Think about it. <laughs> How is it not? I'm try, I'm, I'm, I'm just listening to the because man, here's man. the thing though. The bi- the most intimate part about uh, a couple and their devotion is when they're praying. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily say it's when they're reading the Bible. Okay, but you're you're leaving prayer out of the. That's obviously included. If nah, if you're, yes, it is. Nah. If I'm sitting down with my <clears throat> girlfriend and we're doing Bible study, we're gonna pray. Okay, hold on. Obviously, girlfriend, boyfriend, right? Yeah. Daily devotional doesn't necessarily tie you to the house. So you could just be on the phone. He hey, clearly described a one-on-one private situation, just you and that person doing daily Bible study. 
prayer time. Clearly, that's included. Does it change your opinion if prayer is included? We used to have. You members. just said prayer was the most intimate thing you do with your wife. We used to have members on our team. You're not listening. I am. I am. I'm just trying to throw somebody else under the bus with me. Um, we used to have members of our team that would would do praise and worship as a act of getting to know somebody better. You see what I'm saying? What? What are you talking about? We used to we used to know members of our team that so used to private do, worship. Yeah, private worship. <laughs> and so, to me, that was like, whoa, that's still better than those two in the basement having sex. Right? <laughs> right? Right? Am I wrong? But you just you just said a second ago that the most intimate thing you do with your wife is uh, prayer. No, 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 no. I said that's compa- that's compar- comparable. Now, I didn't say the praise and I didn't say the actual reading the Bible part. He said he wouldn't do. This is the part y'all are missing. He said he wouldn't do Bible study with a man either. Come on. What is that? That's weird. Hey, we're trying not to kill the guy. I mean, he, he, this is his conviction. Like that's fine, right? Right? If he has this conviction, right? His wife was there, like she was cool with it. She shouldn't be. <laughs> she shouldn't be. This, no, that's their marriage. No, because if you if you sit up there and you say in front of your wife, um, man, I just if you're on a podcast and you sit, she's sitting right beside you, and you're like, I just wish you could have slept with more men than had Bible study with more men. She gonna look at you. She should look at you and be like. That's a weird thing. You're gonna tell our daughter the same thing? I just wanna I just wanna say I'm try I'm trying not to to make fun of Ooh, him. Oh, that's a good one. His daughter. His daughter. He's probably gonna say the same thing. He's gonna let his daughter know. I'd be better if you came home and told me that you slept with seven men than then you studied the Bible with seven men while you were at college. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's it. Shuts it down, right? Am I right? Am I right? That shuts oh, it down. Boy. That I, shuts it down. I, I he is trying to say, and I and, and maybe we're just not getting it, that when you pray and read the Bible and have that intimate moment, you're you're laying your heart out before God with another person. That that's a special moment. Maybe we don't treat it special. I think it's because I think it's because it's it's just hard for a guy to agree with that because may, I, I young ladies if if you're watching please let us know if okay. this resonates with you. Okay, maybe this is because we were virgins when we got married. Okay. So, maybe if you had been in the world at some point or that was something that you had done prior to maybe you started to lose the maybe it was a, a desensitization thing for you maybe you desensitized from that being so intimate in your eyes maybe we're tripping because it's that is it i'm not looking at the chat but maybe we're tripping because it's that i could be wrong but maybe that's why i'm tripping i'm tripping because i'm like no no people are dropping my wife's name in here which did she say something oh geez (laughs) (laughs) um i think it's toy in here too um but my wife would definitely be watching them (laughs) i would just say like I would never feel in Jerry percent of the chat. See, we're not crazy. <laughs> uh, Jerry, I don't know if I would ever feel like I had to apologize to my wife for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Because right. because the whole point, the whole point of waiting for sex until marriage and dating to find out if this person is your yeah. is your person or not yeah. is to find out if they're the person that you believe God wants for your life. Well, my wife said I can lead the Bible study, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, some of that is going to happen. Like you said, you're going to go to Bible study with with the young lady you're courting. You're gonna you're gonna want to see how they pray. You're gonna want to see what how, yeah. if they can pull things out of the Bible and, and understand it. Yeah. You're gonna how important is it to them? Like those are that's how you find out, right? Like so. I think maybe he's describing a scene that I'm not familiar with. Like, what does he do in his Bible studies? That's what he needs to. He probably needs to do like a TED talk. (laughs) (laughs) He needs to do a TED talk on. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. (laughs) These Bible studies can become very. Yeah, yeah, nah. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, Yeah. no, um, babe. I'm sorry if I'm not. (laughs) If we're not doing. Yeah. uh, Yeah, no, nah, honestly, um, they read the Song of Solomon. 
<laughs> and that's what I said on the call. Like they must be, you know, <laughs> they must be doing some really um some, oh. some deep. But here's what I'll say. Like, oh man, <laughs> y'all remember me? So y'all remember me bringing this wow. up before? Where I was um with a young lady who I thought I was just dropping off for the night, right? Okay. And she was like, "You want to come in and watch some TV?" And I'm like, "Okay, cool." And then it turned into things escalated real fast. Like she was like, "Hey." You didn't come up here for nothing, did you? And I was like, well, actually, I did, but okay. And so what happened was um, when I tried to sit her down and tell her why I was waiting um, for marriage, for sex, I was like, hey, let, do you have a Bible? Let me, let me, let's pull out the Bible and read the Bible. We read the Bible that night instead of doing anything else. And mm -hmm. that to me wasn't intimate, you know what I'm saying? But I was trying to show her scripture where I was like, well, this is why I believe what I believe. It was the most boring night of her life, most likely. <laughs> but for me, for me, that wasn't anything intimate. I yeah. think my wife in this moment would be like, I'm glad he pulled out the Bible and right. nothing else. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So I would, I would think so. But, <laughs> but again, like I, I try my best not to make fun of him because I, I if he was sitting here, I would want to, I'd probably laugh. He's going to see this. I mean, it's going to have to be defended. I, yeah. I, I, I actually literally want him to come here and explain to me why that, he feels that that is so important. What I can imagine is that he, there's something about that time with his wife that he values. Mm -hmm. And it would hurt him if she had that same level of, if if a woman put, if his wife put that level of trust in, in you know, because when a, a woman is following a man and allowing him to lead mm -hmm. in that space, he probably just feels like if she did that with somebody else, that was supposed to be for him. Yeah, but it's an impossibility. The only thing where you went wrong, bro, <laughs> I'm just telling you, <laughs> just comparing it to, to sex is just crazy. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. understand if you're like, man, I, I, I would have preferred that she did not give her heart to somebody in that intimate moment with God before me. I, yeah. I can see where you're going now, but comparing it to that for a guy that's just yeah. such a that is just un thinkable that yeah, you would yeah, you yeah. would you would compare those two things like that's just crazy because that's a spiritual thing too mm -hmm. yeah so i'm like yeah. what i'm trying to give him a better analogy for the next time he brings that up and i, I was trying to think about maybe cooking maybe like preparing a meal or something like i would have <laughs> rather me have been the only man that cooked for my wife or you know what i'm saying like i would have i would have i would have been okay if multiple men had cooked for you you're gonna have all kinds. You reading the Bible with them. You're gonna I have been all, like, okay, that makes sense. You're gonna have all kinds of insecurities as a man when it comes to your wife. You're gonna have all kinds of insecurities about what somebody else did with them or this and that. You're totally. gonna have all kinds of insecurities. Totally. I have never once in my life thought about that one. Never. Never once in my life never. he said that. And never. I'm not. I promise you, I'm not trying to make fun of you. I literally want you to come here and share your heart with us because I think he he might have a point that I'm just not seeing, and maybe I'm just not taking that seriously well, we got also asked the question about why not with men that, okay. why can't you have we didn't play that part so let's leave, <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's okay, leave well, it alone y'all go find the end but I mean even as Christian singles when you know Christian singles meet up you would hope that they would study scripture together you know that's what I mean, what I, mean I, was, I, was I would a, think of it as a good thing I right, was in a purity right. course and that's all we did was study scripture in the purity course you see what I'm saying like it was a bunch of singles in the room and we had I mean, I had a, I had a purity certificate. I went through a course. I graduated. Like I, I did a whole nine thing with well, my you church. Were, you were doing stuff with. You were praying with other women one on one. That's he's, no, no, he's no, no, specifically no. talking about. But that. he said I wouldn't have. Okay, I'm just going into the second part of that interview, we which we that. can't. Y'all can't really judge because y'all didn't see that part. But what I'm saying is, if you can't, if you can't lead Bible study with another man. Because you're saying it's too intimate, then I'm I'm really lost. King Mike Hall said he ain't got no point, Sean. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm just trying to help him. Because I can imagine watching this, like somebody clip their clip and is and just laughing. I'm just, it would. I, it, I would feel terrible. Like he he's sharing, he's sharing. He's like, crazy. our brother, and he's yeah. sharing this heart with us. He wouldn't be able to come here by himself. He'd have to bring his wife. I don't think so. Oh, he have to. I don't think so. Oh, because the question needs to be asked to her. Like, where's where does that where where do you fall with that? How would you have felt if he? It had multiple sexual partners and then was um, praying with other women. Well, is she it, should feel some type of equal? way because clearly it matters to him a lot. <laughs> so right. I, she should definitely feel some kind of way if he did that with other women because that is very important to him. 